Welcome back, and now we move on to the next data type, which we've seen before, or we should have at least, I think, it's the string data type, which is part of the standard library. And like I said before, you can do some basic string stuff without including the string library, but that's just the way this is. So here's our string, and if we want to get a string, say we wanted to get someone's name and the month that they're actually entering the data in, we would, of course, prompt for it. and then read it. And then ask for the month. and then print it out for them, just to show that we got the data. And if we run this, it asks for our name, and it asks for the month. So the name is Bob, the month is October, which isn't too bad, except for the, there's a problem with the way this works. CN, as a default, reads things into the type of variable that it's sitting beside that it's trying to pump it into. Name is a string, which means any printable character will be read into this with the exception of white space. So it's blank spaces, new line characters, that kind of stuff is when it stops. So if you run this program again and you entered your name, I like Bob Smythe, boom, we're done. Because Bob is the first string, it took Bob, found a white space, said, okay, no, can't continue here stopped entering in the name and then moved on to the next one. So you didn't even get a chance to enter the current month. It went right straight to Smythe. So to make this work, we need to actually go use a different way. If we anticipate needing to capture spaces or information that has spaces or white space in it, we need to capture something that'll get all of that. To do that, we need to use a different thing for CN, which is called GetLine. Now the get line will allow us to read from any standard input stream, CN being one of them, and read up until it finds a new line character and then stop. So if we use the get line command, it kind of works and looks a little like how CN looked, but it needs this. It says, give me a line of text until the new line character from this input stream and store it here. And that will now read everything up to and including the new line character and throw it away. And then now we come down and we can actually get the month. It's not really October. I'm just looking forward to pumpkins. So here we are, Bob Smith and October. And this read everything we needed to get that made life easy for us. Now, if we wanted to actually come down here and capture something else, we could do it. We can continue going on, and life would work just fine. So that's a brief little introduction into how GetLine can read from any input stream, in this case standard in, and store it inside a string, and allow us to read things that have spaces, no matter how many spaces you've got. So if your name was Bob R. Smythe III. Boom, we get all of that in, all of this gets read in and stuffed inside that variable because we found the enter key, the new line character in the pipeline right there. And that is how we capture strings. Now, we have some other stuff that we can use also, which is how do I read in just one character? So if I had a character,
say the middle initial, and I wanted to capture the middle initial of this person, I could come in and ask again, And I could actually read and get your middle initial. And that will read the, the, the whole name, grab a middle initial for fun, and grab a month. And there's Bob Smith with an A in October. Ta -da. There are, of course, a, other ways of doing this. The standard CN, of course, will read anything that you want it to read in as long as it's a character and not a white space. But what happens if you want to capture a white space? What happens if they don't really have a middle initial and you put in a space? What's it, gonna, what's it really going to grab? Well, CN just runs right over that stuff. So there is another way of doing this. It's actually using something called cn.get. Which gets a middle initial, but it gets one character regardless of what you put in. Of course, with all good things comes great problems. This works absolutely perfectly because the cn.get knows that it needs a middle initial and the get line reads everything and throws away that new line character at the end. Watch what happens if we change things around just a little bit. What happens if we move that, not that this makes any logical sense for a piece of code, and we capture the month here first Get line will read whatever text you put in, throw away the new line character. CN will read the month, stopping at the new line character. CN.get will then read the next character. Yeah, close enough. And look what happened. The middle initial is what? We didn't get it. We actually didn't get the middle initial because cn.get will read everything that's there no matter what it is. By doing the get line first, we clean out the whole pipe. By doing the cn month next, we put the month in the pipe with a new line character and then enter your middle initial turns into reading that new line character. cn.get will read anything you give it. The solution to this is a little known thing. Well, actually, it's very well known. Called cn.ignore. cn.ignore in this case is very specific. It will ignore one character, stripping out that new line character and allowing us to actually get somebody's middle initial. And there you go. So, things to note get line takes everything and strips out the new line character. CN reading to a string, reads the string, leaves the new line character. CN.get reads any character, and CN.ignore is used when you think you have characters that are left over that you need to clean out. In this case, one, because we know exactly what's going on with this stuff. And there you go. There's a brief continuing introduction to strings, characters, and how to read them safely, and how to get past those pesky little spaces in people's input. Hope you're having a good day.